Trail News fan Spencer Paulison out here in the mountains of Colorado. I'm getting ready for the Leadville 100 mountain bike race. I've never done this one before. It's a 100 mile race, high altitude, starts over 10,000 feet, tops out above 12,000 feet above sea level. It's going to be brutal, but it's going to be especially hard for me because I'm going to do it on a mountain bike that is as old as I am. That's right, I'm doing it on this 1983 specialized stump jumper. Why would I do such a thing, you might ask? Why wouldn't I just ride the Fazari Signal Peak that I've been using so far for the Epic Ride series? Or maybe Canyon's new Lux, which I'm gonna ride at Breck Epic? A few reasons. First of all, I'll be doing Breck Epic right up until Leadville 100. Six days of mountain bike racing going right into Leadville. There's no way I'm gonna be that fast at Leadville, so why bother trying to come up with some super high-tech solution to make my race as fast as possible at Leadville? No, I think it'd be more fun to do something funky like this. But more importantly, I'm riding this old bike to kind of prove a point. And the point I'm trying to prove is that no matter how old your bike is, no matter if you feel like mountain bike technology has left you behind, you can still get out and ride, you can still have a good time, you can still even do a race here and there, maybe not Leadville, but you can definitely get out and enjoy the trails on your bike. I know a lot of people who have bikes hanging in their garage and they sometimes use it as an excuse not to ride the fact that their bike is older or maybe a little outdated. Well, I'm here to tell you that you can have fun on pretty much any mountain bike out there. So I've got this specialized stump jumper. It's pretty much original equipment, 26 inch wheels, rigid uh, thumb shifters, five speed in the back, triple up front. I have made a few concessions to modern technology because I don't want to kill myself. I've got clipless pedals on it to avoid just totally turning my shins into hamburger. I've got a nice new saddle on it that will hopefully avoid any uh, unpleasantness in my uh, backside. And then I have some tires that, although they look kind of retro, they actually are new versions of Panaracer's Smoke and Dart, the old school classic tire combo. Hoping that'll keep me relatively flat free on these rough mountain trails and roads up in Leadville. So stay tuned to velonews.com for more updates on my crazy adventure, as well as my coverage of Breck Epic. Thanks for watching.